Doesn't make sense. Why the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet... There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go, at, go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then, would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. But if there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all the things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Hmm. Ah, sun's rising. Hmm. You silly doggy. I really do like the... You know, the kind of lighting mood effects of this game. The atmosphere, you could say. I don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Okay. So I guess we'll head back in. Maybe, maybe. It is a very pretty looking game. And I still get caught on grass and stuff. My goodness. On the slightly taller grass that I can't go into because of the wild Pokemon or something, I guess. You can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way from here now. So, I go up to the bedroom, I imagine? Where this is uh, going on? Right? Probably? Yeah, what do you think? Is there anything new? How do I talk with you? How do I- what? I can't? Do I talk with you, maybe? Maybe, maybe. How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. We'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Oh, I thought... I saw... I thought that was part of his uh, head there. It was not. Okay. Um, so in the kitchen, you say, huh? So that would be down this way, I believe. And it was this way, if I recall. Yep. No, I understand that part, but... Okay. So you confirm it in his records. And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarter? Is that supposed to say headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now, shh. So, I thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh, yeah. Where did you find that? I thought you shh'd me. Temporarily unshh. <laughs> Ain't I lucky? Well, I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There are a bunch more of them there, and in the basement, too. Ah. Hmm. Alright, resume shing. <laughs> okay. So... Hmm. Want the light on by chance? Just a thought? So... What now, though? Like, I can go check out the, uh, basement room again, but, like... With all these origami rabbits. Broken music box. Hmm... So then... Where am I going? What am I doing? I can go back up to the... Bedroom and talk with the doctor again, I suppose. See what's going on over here. Um, hey, if you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. They're making phone calls there. So I, there's gotta be something that I'm missing in the kitchen then, right? There's gotta be something I'm missing there that I'm supposed to do that I did not do, right? Probably. So what was it? Like there's that. Last paper rabbit River gave to John. What am I missing here? The door, not the door. Um... Not sure, I'll have to check on that. Um... What am I missing here? I can check the lighthouse again or something, but... 
where where that rabbit originally came from. I suppose. But like will that be the uh will that be the answer? Is something at the uh something at the lighthouse? Or no? I can check it out real quick just in case. Oh no, it's it's all the way down there. All the way down and around. Is what it is. So it's probably not there, because that's a very roundabout kind of thing. So there's gotta be something I'm missing here. Something I'm missing here. I feel like it'd just be in the kitchen, but uh I can check some of the other rooms, I guess. That's what I can do. Um, but Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Okay. The same kind of... <laughs> stepped on the paint. Same kind of drawings that uh Johnny would do as a kiddo in school. Um, tell the girl who fell in love with a zombie who admitted the smell of days watch out with gentle sunlight. Read passage. Maybe another year. Hmm, place book on shelf. Can I place book on shelf? Do nothing. Um, let them sleep, turn on the lights. Turn off, you giant doofus. Well, fine. Um, no, nothing to inspect there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, those two shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I should have watched them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you want to ask, let me sit down first. Okay. Um, oh, was there something you want to ask? Um, about you? No, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. Um, <laughs> you can't read all the books, it's unfortunate. Um. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to get them help get them back on their feet? They do. Eventually, I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own, and he needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. Hmm. The kiddos. So what are you going to tell him about John? I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Future. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Hmm. Don't know why it's so laggy when the, uh, questions appear on screen. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go check out the kitchen again, see if those, uh, calls are maybe done. Maybe, maybe. Seems like. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, I tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with, and in such a large amount. 
Its impact on his memories at the time of administration much of it must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So, what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging accessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Hmm. Well, that was quick. Um, I forgot my coffee. Oh. Hmm. No beta blocker. So, now what? So he's out of here. He's getting some fresh air and such. It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The road kill, Ava. It smells! I know. It's your fault for running over it. What's going on? Children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory. The one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The, olf the olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... What? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I, I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now that... Now you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly. I've already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. Okay then, that would help. Meh. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Okay. So we're going out to the road to get the roadkill, I guess. That's, uh... Well, that's certainly something I do have to say. That is most... That is a hedge. That is most certainly something, isn't it? I guess we'll, uh... Go down and go get that roadkill. Is what we do. My goodness gracious. Hi, squirrels. Deja vu. Like the exact same way? Is there something crazier going on here? What's happening? What is happening here? Is the question of the day. Okay, so go get the, uh, thing where Bob. Dang, I got trapped in the corner with the, uh, thing there. Well, um, kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car, and at least make its odor controllable. So, uh... Okay. What have we here? Hmm? Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. Hmm? What a mess. Crash shook everything up. Let's see. Is he hiding something in the car that she's about to discover? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Ah, here it is. See, so valve container. Now, to get some of that dirty roadkill. 
I doubt that that random prediction I made is the is the case, but uh. uh. So we've contained roadkill odor. Okay, I guess we'll uh bring this back now. I suppose. We'll bring it back to Mr. Dudo to get a get a whiff of it along his childhood memories. I suppose. Sounds like a great plan. Let me tell ya. An absolutely fantastic plan. <laughs> oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great. Go get set up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I... I gotta... Gotta go feed my digital pet. What? Yeah, do that. I've been feeling retro. Anyway, here we go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What are you... We've got someone dying back there. What the potato is he up to? No time to check on him now. Okay. What's he up to? So, we have the, uh... <laughs> the freaking roadkill odor container thing. So, when we get to that exact point, I will send a signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. Okay. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it'd matter to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. Okay. It's all red now! Everyone's visors get turned red. Act 3! They shine their lights at the other line lighthouses and at me. I can't words today. It's 2 in the morning. I've been up since 6 in the morning. Uh, no, I've actually been up since 5 in the morning. Yeah. Previous day. So, uh, I never even got proper sleep. So, uh, I'm a little bit delirious. Quite frankly. Let's go. Okay. Oh? Okay, so all five. And we go right to the, uh, soccer ball. Oh! Because now we can, uh, immediately do things this time. Right? We can actually go there for real. Maybe. We'll see. I think this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space. I suppose all we can do now is send a signal and hope. Well, ready? Hmm. Send the signal. Do the thing. Julie, do the thing. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? What is going on? It's a good question. Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over from me, Lily. Um. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, Chuck might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've gotta be kidding me. Why are you getting out then? I can't kneel. If both of us get out under this state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all that we've done before Johnny. Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. Uh, you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Well, I guess he doesn't like the smell of the thing. Maybe it's bringing back some bad memories. Did it stabilize? Everything's okay? Doctor. I think we're okay for now. Uh, 
Okay, that's a... Uh... That was a little bit creepy there, wasn't it? Can we make it to the place? And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Wait a minute. Yeah, and my last Christmas party, you... Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? You know that I did, right? Well... So now we can actually make our way over here? Mayhap? No? The hell? Do I interact with the uh, thing? The ball again? Ah, my eye. My eyes. Ah. There goes nothing. Teleport me over there? Guess it does indeed teleport. Pretty handy teleporting soccer ball right there. Pretty handy dandy. Hmm. Now, so this is like the super early childhood now then. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil. Yeah. Did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? There, what? There was something strange in there. Do you not see it? I, I suppose not? Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. What was the odd thing that was in there? Was I not paying enough attention? Did I not notice the odd thing in the room? Um. Uh. Hmm. So... What's interactable around here? What is interactable around these parts, huh? That is a flower. I'm getting stuck. I hate how you get stuck on the flowers. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You gotta take them there one day. Oh. Um... What's going on over here, huh? Can't interact there. Sheesh, the time overlap's getting out of hand. Look how many of them there are. It's like a zoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like the ball's moving around on its own. <laughs> He's just chasing it. So, uh, oh, thanks to this little fellow's sacrifice. I hope. So, so nothing there or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Something over here? Something's happening. Oh, jeez. Look at the time. I better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Boys? Did he have a brother or something like that? But, uh... Maybe he lost said brother? Maybe it wasn't the... Maybe it wasn't a squirrel that got road killed, but uh, well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place. It's so peaceful. The only. Th uh, blah, I can't words today. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be. Shit, tuh. We need to go back now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Don't tell me the, uh... The Johnny had a brother that gets run over. Or Johnny gets hit by a car? No. Because the... We haven't heard mention of, like, a brother before. I just mentioned the boys, so... Well then, that, uh, that is certainly something.
Well, uh... I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Uh, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Or, I guess this would be a kid voice. Joey? Can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey. Wake up. Well. Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Move on to where? Also, welcome back, Reggie Bump. Um. Okay. Um. So then. That, uh. That was certainly something. Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? That's an invisible wall. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Go somewhere else, huh? But what do you, uh... What do you want me to do? Why is there an invisible block, like, right there? Hmm. Hmm. Well? So I guess our, uh... Our old man had some, uh, memory tampering, uh medication as a kid oh, to forget about that event I guess and that could be part of the reason why his memories are so screwed is what's going on here or something what well, seems like I don't know where the game actually expects me to go right now this is like my one speed that I could go at so uh what do you want me to do where do you want me to go just like investigate the, the scene or something. I don't, I don't get it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where am I going? What the hell? Hmm. Hmm. So go around this away. What? One more tile. One more tile, apparently. One more. So, hmm. Hmm. I mean, this was a case of, uh, it sounded, it sounds kind of like it might have been like an over manipulative mother that lost her mind after, after this, that, uh, forced him to take drugs. That's what it sounds kind of like. So what is it, what does it want me to do? I'm so confused. What do you want me to do, game? Like... No, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Hot. It's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. It was just right there, apparently. 